Hello, this is Angela Anderson. Thanks for joining me for this acrylic painting tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint a little boy at a window uh, Christmas time. You can uh, adapt it pretty easily to really any season. Uh, it doesn't have to have the little Santa in there if you don't want to add that, but uh, I think it'll be a really fun uh, project for today. I'll have my husband Mark with me. Okay, he'll show up. He's here for the live show, so oh, if you've okay. got questions, uh, <laughs> you can ask those, and I'll try to answer them. <laughs> Let's get started. Alrighty, so here's my, there we go. I have prepped my canvas. I'm using a 9 by 12 inch Belgian Linen uh, Pro Series archival canvas board from Fredericks. Um, these are kind of my go-to ones. They've got a nice firm a core hardboard inside so they're not going to warp and uh, they're nice and thin so I can store them easily and then pop them into a frame if I want to. Um, so I've used titanium white and carbon black. Those are basically our two colors that we'll be using plus zinc white. Um, you can look on my palette over here um, if Mark wants to pop it up there. There we go. Carbon black, titanium white, zinc white, and then this is glazing liquid. So, and I will be using kind of the liquid forms of uh, carbon black and titanium white and mixing it up for the uh, Santa since we're going to be using the liner brush to fill him in. Uh, since he's so tiny, we're going to need a very small brush. So speaking of brushes, we'll go over those. Um, so for the Santa, I'm going to have a number one round and number three aught round. Super small. Just get the smallest brush that you've got. The shorter the bristles, the easier it's going to be to control. Um, so keep that in mind when you're buying your brushes. Um, longer brushes will have more paint, obviously, and you can make longer lines with them. Shorter bristles, uh, less paint, smaller areas, but finer detail. Easier to control. All right, um, these are the uh, quarter inch and three-eighths inch uh, angle brushes from, these are Princeton Velvet Touch in the red handles. And um, I'll be probably using those to kind of block in the uh, head and maybe do some of the hair. I've also got a Filbert Grainier. I'll show you how to use that. I don't know that I'll use it for this hair, but um, if you want kind of a finer uh, hair look on him, you can use a brush like this. This is the Select Filbert Grainier. Uh, it's just got, it's like a comb or a rake brush. I've also got a fan brush uh, that I'll be using for some of the snow effects. And then I've got a number four bright. This is the Aspen line in the black handles. They're a little bit firmer than the 6100 series here and the red, the green handles that I'm using. So this is number one round. So I might, might use this for the hair. I'm not sure I'm going to need it. And I'm thinking I might use this for um, that part, but um We'll, we'll just see how it goes. This is live, so <laughs> you never know. <laughs> uh, it's very blurry in the photograph, so that's why I'm thinking I might not want to use a crisp brush. So I grabbed uh, a couple of stiffer bristled brushes that I can kind of scrub out those edges and make them a little bit softer, and we'll be using these in the um, window as well. So we'll show you some kind of dry brushing techniques. So I've got a number six uh, round blender, a deer foot stippler, and three eighths inch size, and then a three eighths inch and quarter inch uh, Willis blender. So all of my brushes are Princeton. They are a brush sponsor, so thank you to them. Thank you to Fredericks for our canvas. And um, Golden, call me. <laughs> uh, the heavy body acrylics that I use, but, you know, they're not a sponsor. So yet, maybe, who knows. Um, <laughs> Aqua Rel water soluble pencil is what I'm using on the background. Just something uh, that'll be easily easily erased. And then, um, if you wanted to, if you don't want to use a brush and you're just like I can't deal with uh, brushes, you could do your um, Santa with a very small, like fine liner permanent ink brush, like the or brush pen, like the uh, Pigma Sakura that I like to use for signing canvases. So that is an option. So don't think like that you can't do this if you, you know, if you just cannot deal with using a liner brush on that part, uh, there is another option that I'll show you. All right, so let's get started here. Um, the background was about three parts, uh, three to four parts white to one part black. So that's what we've got here in the background. That black really tints that white quite a lot. And it's, it's kind of a medium to dark. It's pretty much like, straight medium gray, I would say, um, not too dark, not too light. 
And then uh, if you want to draw in your uh, moon, you could use like, or like a, do it, use a stencil for your moon to get it perfectly circular. If you could find a jar lid or something like that, that's kind of close to the right size for your window, then you could use that as kind of a stencil. Or you could use a stencil if you have one. You're going to want a ruler for sure, and you're going to get paint on it, so make sure it's not one of your best ones. But um, Family heirloom. Right, exactly. <laughs> so what you're going to want to do is find your lines down below. And this actually, in our photograph, the bottom line is actually kind of curved. I think it's the, it's the angle of the photograph. Um, so if that bothers you and you want it completely straight, you could always square these up to the edge and use a T-square. Um, I have mine just slightly at an angle like the photograph. So um, draw your line across and then draw another two lines, just one kind of below it and then one a little bit farther down. So that's kind of our sill area. And then um, about, oh, I would say about right above the third mark. So here's our third line. So this one right here might be right on the third on our canvas. So go ahead and do your line there. And this line should kind of parallel this line. So if you do an angle down here, you need to do one up here. So do it all the way across there and there. Um, make sure that these are spaced equally um, here and here. So when we do our cross pieces, they're gonna match up. And then here you're going to want to do the same thing, do all the way down. I can't do it because my thing's at an angle, but you can tell what I'm doing there. And these ones are just off the thirds. So again, if you did your third mark, uh, let's see, would be kind of this inside, the probably the inside, well, no, that one's about right on the outside. So these outside two lines are gonna be kind of right on the thirds, and then your uh, other pieces are gonna be right on the other side of it. So once you get that in, then you can put your moon on, and then um, our little boy is real simple. So if you kind of just break down the shape, it's basically a kind of flattened out egg shape. It's, you see that right there? So that's what we're kind of going for. I just flattened it out and kind of come around and then taper it in. And then the ear is going to be below the halfway mark. So here's the middle of the head. You can see how far down the ear goes, just a little bit farther down from there. The tendency, you're gonna to wanna to put it up here. I don't know why, but um, make sure that you put it down low. Otherwise he's gonna look like he's got a head on the ear on the side of his head and then um, put his little cheek in right here. So here's the neck. And then if you wanted to, if you don't want this like uh, puffy jacket that he's got on, I, I took part of it out. There's like another little piece. It's like a hoodie piece. And I just took that out because I didn't think it really added anything to the picture. So I just kind of made the puffy jacket kind of go around the uh, sides equally on both sides there. Um, but if you don't want the jacket at all, you could just taper down his neck like this and leave that out and really his shoulder is going to be just below this so um, you could just do your your thing all the way across like that if you don't want to have this jacket in the way so that's just up to you any tips if they want it to be a girl um yeah if you wanted it to be a girl i would do it the same way i would just probably um uh either well you could do a ponytail so this is the back of the head right here this is the um, just off center at the top here. So probably actually on the third here is the little um, Kalik. Thank you. Couldn't think of the name. So if you wanted to, you could put a little ponytail coming out from that area. So something right in here and have it come out like this, you know, or even uh, pigtails. Now the other pigtail would be somewhere on here because this is the back of the head here. Um, really you wouldn't, you know, there's the neck. So you're going to come in just a little bit from the neck, um, to do, uh, like if you did pigtails or something, but I would do bangs out the front. So I would just kind of bring out the hair out this way. Let me get a piece of chalk so you can see better. So I would do kind of bangs out the front a little bit and maybe have some sticking up like that. And then probably do either a ponytail or just do her hair kind of sticking out the back there and maybe around the side of the, the head right here. 
you know, depending on the kind of hairstyle that you're going to have on her. But um, maybe not that far out. But that's for the ponytail there. So, you know, for, for the girl's hair, it would probably fall down. You would just have longer. You could do the cowlick in the same place, really, or not do one at all and just kind of have it come off the back and, and split right there like that. And depending on, like I said, the hairstyle for the girl, it would just, you know, kind of depend on how you want to do it. But, of course, we had three boys, so I'm going to keep the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Plus little Liam, our little grandbaby. Yeah. So we, I, Jordan did not um, take to heart our order for grandgirls, grandbaby girls. So Granddaughters. Granddaughters, thank you. That's the word. Armholes. Armholes, yep. Grandbaby daughters. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, grandbaby girls. Shut I'm, up. I'm writing that one down. I'm drawing. It's hard to draw and talk. Grand try it. Try it sometime. <laughs> and if you miss it, the background color is uh, straight, medium gray, not too dark, not too light. It's, it rolls right off the tongue. Carbon black. Carbon and titanium. No, but it's a new paint color for us. Oh, is it? Just you got to get all that name on the on the bottle. Got it all in there. Straight, okay. medium gray, not too dark, not too light. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's already started, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so first thing I want to do is kind of frost up these windows. Now, if you are going to do your Santa with a pen, you're going to want to do your moon and your Santa first. So I'm not going to, cause I'm going to, um, drip paint mine in, but, um, you'll want to skip ahead and do that first and then do your frosting over the top. And that way that that'll fade out that black pen. Um, so just keep that in mind. So I'm going to use the zinc white and a little bit of glazing liquid. And I'm just going to kind of dry brush. We'll see if we can get, and it's really actually kind of wet paint. Um, so I'm not fully dry brushing. I'm just going to smush this around because that, that zinc or that um, glazing liquid in there is going to make it kind of fluid. So what I'm just going to do is just kind of try to get a little bit of movement happening in these windows. You see how that happens? It really doesn't take much. And then wipe it off so that I don't have too much on there. If you don't, if you're just going to do this for like, um, with no snow, I would still do this. Um, just maybe... I would maybe do it um, kind of streaked in one direction instead of kind of cloudy looking, if that makes sense. So for those who are in Australia who maybe don't want to, aren't going to have snow and don't really want the snowy scene, you can always just do a regular window here. So I'm going to get a little bit of dark. I want to go darker than that background. There we go. That's the color. And I'm going to kind of darken up the corners here. So when Santa delivers down there in uh, Australia, does he take off his jacket? I and think just, so. He must. Does he basically just have a tank top on or something? <laughs> I, I don't know. You have to ask them. They, okay, they would know. That might be disturbing. <laughs> Somebody, somebody did ask, uh, you showed your uh, your pen that you yes. use for signing, and they wanted to know, can they varnish over it, or will it run? Yes. Yes, you can. Just make sure that you don't use an alcohol-based varnish, because alcohol will um, activate the ink. It's uh, it's an alcohol-based pen. So, um, But a regular varnish, I don't have any issues with the... I use... Um, 
the golden isolation coat over the top and then uh, varnish over that and I have not had any issues. So when I'm going to go right over this boy's head, I'm not going to worry too much about the outline and you might want to do this first before you even trace on your boy and that way you don't have to worry at all about going around him. You can see kind of what I did there. I sort of added just a little bit of streaks in there. And the um, the ice tends to kind of build up around the edges. So if you wanted to, you could add just a little bit kind of a, like how they kind of do those star, sort of star crystal-y looking things. You could do a little bit of just tapping in a little uh, along those edges, but we really don't have to get too fancy with this. It's going to be pretty easy, I think. Um, I'm definitely going to try to keep this beginner friendly today. So I, I definitely don't think I, I, I'm shooting for about an hour on this one. I really think that we could get it done that quickly. So we'll see how it goes, but you know, famous last words for me. I was, uh, I told Mark, I said, I said before, you know, we started, I was like, yeah, I think this one is going to go pretty fast. Um, so I think maybe an hour and he goes, and Mark said, this is me not holding my breath. <laughs> 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 so, oh, you have little faith. It was preceded by a belly laugh. <laughs> I'm no fool. For not, for not getting done quickly. I'm not a fast painter. Yes. I like detail too much. I get bogged down in all the little details. You like doing a good job. Hmm? You like doing a good, thorough job. I do. I mean, if we just weren't done halfway, I'd be over there painting. True. Yep, here's a round circle. This is the boy's head. There's another round circle. That's the moon. Done. Well, I mean, it'd there be like go. a 10 minute video. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get some of that dark black with the white. And this is the background color, just, just a shade darker than the background color. in the corners. I just can't believe you don't believe me. Well, another long time listener, watcher, f friend, uh -huh. Beth yeah. said, I actually laughed out loud when she said it should take about an hour. <laughs> so those of us who know you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Okay, if, I can do it. If you were I can do it. Painting a straight line, uh -huh. you could do it in about an hour. <laughs> for sure. I have lots of hour paint, <laughs> paintings on YouTube. I have several. Mm -hmm. I have done it before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but other the ones that are sped up and don't <laughs> even. <laughs> don't even. <laughs> regretting not having faith I'm going faster now <laughs> I'll show you paint it like you stole it <laughs> that's right okay so all the corners going black blacker it's going to create that kind of vignette feeling um, pull your eye in toward the middle too so that's kind of what we're doing there and yeah, just basically adding our little white over the top. If you're not seeing it, then go a little bit brighter with it. You may have done your background a little bit brighter than mine. So you might have to go a little bit lighter with this for darker, whatever. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. But just kind of keep it, 
keep it light, build up your layers slowly, and you know, kind of do this. I'm doing it kind of in these little circular motions so that I'm getting kind of that frosted feel. And then you can kind of just tap in to get those kind of like crystal looking little things happening on your window. Another fun game people like to play while they're watching mm -hmm. rather than just watch you paint. Right. Is to find images in your palette. Uh oh. Do we have a bird going on there? No. Nope. <clears throat> what? We have an alien. An alien. In, in the gray. <laughs> right. You see it. Right Isn't there where it, your brush right, is. Those are two eyes? An alien? Yeah. Yeah, you can see the, the head and the two eyes. Yeah, the eyes. Those are the two eyes? Yeah. The, Where's the mouth? The, the, well, yeah. Do aliens really need a mouth? I don't know. I don't believe you. Whatever. I see an eagle head right there. An eagle head? Ca -ca. <laughs> <laughs> see? He looks like he's got his beak right there open. Oh, okay. Yeah. See? Right, yeah. He kind of looks like the eagle that we painted a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So uh, I wonder how many people would be able to tell us what show that's from. I don't even remember what show that was from. Caca, caca. I know, I know. <laughs> but I don't remember the name of the show. It wasn't Arrested <clears throat> Development. It was a guy from Arrested Development, and it was like a very short-lived show. It didn't last very long. I can't remember the name of the oh, show. Oh, it wasn't Arrested Development? No, it oh, wasn't. Okay, I thought it was because uh -uh. it was that guy. No, it was a guy from it, and he had like a, a show, his own show. Wow. I can't remember the name of that. Okay, so just kind of going through and adding little snowflakey like stuff here just by tapping. That kind of adds the fuzz. So before I was kind of just setting my brush down and swirling it to kind of add the background. And now I'm kind of going in with the sink white and just kind of tapping in a little straight up and down little bits of ice and snow on our window. And this is kind of really not in our photograph, but I'm just kind of adding it for fun. So. You do as much as little as you want on yours. On mine? Well, if you're painting it. Okay. Okay, there we go. And then um, before we do anything else, we need to add snow. So I'm going to grab my white. Let me go ahead and grab the zinc white too. My fan brush and lots of water. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the glazing liquid just to make it stick. Because when you add too much water to the heavy body acrylics, they underbind. They won't stick to your canvas very well. So we want to make sure that they're really well adhered to our canvas. And you want that consistency to be very like milk consistency. Oh, there we go. Good big snowflakes. The more, oops, the bigger your brush, the more, the bigger your, the more bigger your, I can speak fluent English. The more bigger. The more bigger, biggerest your snowflakes will be. So that's why I got the bigger fan brush here. I want to make sure that I'm tapping now instead of flinging because when you fling it that's when you get those long strings like this here which I don't want I mean you can have some but I don't want a lot of it and I don't really want it on my moon so I'm gonna tap that off and we're gonna have to put actually let's probably need to put in our moon here before too long so I don't want them this dark though so what I'm gonna do is kind of let them set for a second and then gently blot them up 
we go. I moved my paper towel there. That's why it turned out that way. Who moved my paper towel? You should write a book called that. Who moved my paper towel? Yeah. And all down here is not going to have any snowflakes, obviously, because it's inside the house. So on the boy and everything. I hope not. Doesn't matter. Can wipe those off. Somebody would like to know what is the purpose of using the two different whites? Um, the zinc white is more transparent, so um, I wanted them to be slightly transparent. The I want them to cover well, so I used the titanium white for that. But then um, where I want it a little bit more transparent than titanium, since I'm, I am blotting them, um, this the zinc white just helps it be a little bit more transparent. Gives us those kind of weird snowflake effects that we see in our photograph. And I'm going to add some smaller ones, but at least now we've got kind of some good big ones to add in there. And I might want a few more big ones. I know you want to say it. What? You're being good. I'm trying to get my mic to work. Uh-oh. And we didn't get you a new microphone cord, did we? No. I'm getting paint all over my everything. All over my everything. Okay, now it's working. I can't just touch the cord. Okay, don't touch it. I'm blotting it off wherever I see those little stringy lines. I don't want those. use my q-tip and do some perfectly s circular ones too. Cotton swab. Cotton swab. Sorry. Could be another sponsor. True, I use them enough. Give us a shout out. It would be like Audible though, if I got a, <laughs> if I got a cotton swab sponsor and it was not Q-tips, then I would inevitably call them Q-tips, like I did Audible.com. Sorry, Audible. I know. Call me. I can do better. I know. <laughs> that was like we had a we we had a sponsorship with Audible. We did the first one fine. It was great. And so they had us do a second one. And then the second one, it's in the contract. Like, plain as day, don't say audible.com. I don't know why, but that's... And, like, the second one, that's all. That's what I said immediately. Immediately. And they're like, um... And I was like, yeah, they're never calling me back. And they didn't, so... Ornaments? Exactly. If they hadn't said that, I'm sure I wouldn't have said it either. That's the thing. Whatever you do, don't say hippopotamus. <laughs> I can't not say it. I want to say hippopotamus so bad. So bad. I want to say it so bad. Oh my gosh. <sighs> they were awesome. I loved yep. their service. I blew it. Oh well. I don't know. Maybe All someday right. they'll come back. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so I'm not, I don't think I'm going to, well, I might use it just to kind of do my initial part, and then I'm going to, and then 
I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than this. This was not quite big enough for me, but I'm going to use the titanium white. And I've got my Willis Blender here. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this when you use a little thing of a bob there. And just make sure that you don't, you keep moving, you don't, you want to blend out that wet edge in towards the inside before it dries. So don't, if you can't get all the way around and get it done, I go in small sections. There we go. We're boom, pretty much done. Moon. I might make mine a little bit bigger. So, so I'm gonna. Bring it out just a little bit more while that's still wet. But I just left a little bit of that dark in there in the middle and we're pretty much done. I'm going to take my brush and then I'm just going to kind of go a little bit brighter right along that edge. This is me, you don't have to do this. I just, because I made that bigger there, it was kind of not defined very well. Did you, did you just moon us? I just mooned you. Okay. Did you miss it? No, I'm watching. Okay. There we go. And that's pretty much all we're going to have to do. So, 30 minutes. I'm going to do this. I am doing this. I'm telling you, I can do it in 30 minutes. So now we know the trick to make her paint faster. Say that she can't. Exactly. I'll show you. I'll show you. Everybody. I'm going to do a darker version of that. So I'm going to go almost black. Kind of a dark gray. And if you want to use your ruler, this is the time to do it. I'm going to use this one because I can't get that one in here. There we go. So I'm going to line it up where I want my line there. It's a little bit tilted since this part's tilted. And. Make sure you cover up any of those. There we go. It does look too, it's too tilted, isn't it? It looks kind of funky. I wish I'd made it straighter. I think I can. I'm just going to make it a little straighter. I'm going to widen it out a little bit. some what some people are begging you to slow down slow down yeah because okay. they uh, they don't want to do their housework <laughs> it is a saturday show i can mm. i can see <laughs> where that would be i feel you i feel you i've been doing putting up snowmen all morning my snowman collection decided to go ahead and put them up this year. I wasn't sure I was going to, but I decided I needed to. They need to see the new house, too. So. Mm. You're going to do that in your digging flight group? Do house, what? House tour? I need to. Over the Christmas and yeah, all that? Yeah, I need that. to. Mm -hmm. I should. Plus, you can take your time. I want to sit longer. Okay. I, already, I already got my 13... Thousand steps in. You no, know, Mark was mowing this morning. So just kind of fuzzing out those edges a little bit. Make 
make sure I got all of my white covered and my lines there. I'm going to go ahead and just do this by hand. And if it's too fuzzy and you're not liking the look of it, you can always grab your brush like this. We can use this one. Let me show you what that looks like. It'll be a lot more clean. But because it's stiff bristle, stiffer than the, some of the other ones, it'll still be a little bit easier to blend out those edges. This is just water. Trying to get off those white outlines on my thing. There we go. So I'm curious if in other countries do they call that spot in the back of people's head with the hair, a cowlick or whatever the similar term is. Yeah, I wonder what it's called in other countries. Probably something different. Ladybugs had all kinds of different names. That was really fascinating. They had all kinds of interesting variations of names. I can't remember all of them, but I just thought that was really cool when we painted the ladybug last year. Okay, yeah, this is working. So we got a cow lick in Canada. Cow lick still in Canada. Somebody said yak lick. Really? That's what they type. I don't know if they're being serious or not, but... I mean, it looks like Justin got to this I kid. I bet they're joking. Justin Beefer got mm -hmm. to him. Yep. Okay, so we oh, got... Shoot. UK's got Cowlick also. UK's got Cowlick. Maybe in desert areas it might be like a camel lick. No. <laughs> they don't have cows there. Don't be ridiculous. Me not be ridiculous. Wow. Is it, is it because they have the little thing on their foreheads? Is that why? Because cows have that little thing on their foreheads that does I think that it's swirl. Just their so. tongue maybe just make a swirl. No. no. Really? Really? I mean, Are you being that, silly? No. I mean, well, no. okay. That's what's in my brain now. Whether that's true or not, I'm just that's what I figured. Because mm. their tongues, I don't know. Things when they. What? They like when they get eat grass or something. I don't think they have to twirl it around their tongue, oh. don't they? I'd be curious. No, well, now you've got me curious. I'm going to have to look that up now. Somebody suggested llama lick. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of the uh, the article in your in your newsletter this week. <clears throat> about what the llama oh yeah yeah that was fun mm -hmm. got an email with the lady that had discovered our llama after trying to paint one on her own it was really cute really nice letter she 
Here, let me share it. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of I ended up going outside my edges because I'm trying to cover up that white line. So when you do yours, if you transfer on or when you trace on or, or draw on your lines, go inside, farther inside than you think you need to. I didn't do that. I kind of went right on the line where I wanted it and I didn't leave any room for, you know, the fuzzy to go around it. Okay, that's better. So it's from, it's from when they're the mama cows are cleaning the, the baby cows and leaves the swirls in their hair. Ah, <coughs> that's cool. So I guess the Vikings had dragon legs. Sorry. Okay, getting some white hair. <laughs> I'm gonna go over his hair. I'm going to ignore Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and just get some paint. Keep on painting here. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I want to cough. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to get black. I'm going to do black right where the center of that cowlick is. Filling this in in the direction that that hair is growing. So if any of this shows through, it's going to look like we meant to do it. go right up to the edge there because then we're going to put the light color on top we'll have this dark underneath so I'm going to cover most of this with nice dark tones So, what are we going to do tomorrow, Brain? We are going to paint a Christmas barn. Oh, I did want to mention the Boy in the Window was submitted by Melanie McGinnis Geis. She is a member of my Facebook group. And we this summer we had a Christmas around the world kind of submissions for ideas for Christmas paintings. And this was hers. So... Thank you to Melanie McGinnis Geis for her suggestion. I should have mentioned that right off the bat. She's probably waiting, thinking that I wasn't ever going to mention her. Sorry, Melanie, but thank you for submitting. I liked it right away. I was like, yep, that's cute. We she's, that. she's one of the few people to get an actual photograph of Santa. Mm -hmm. And she's lying and has to paint it. Thank you. 
don't think she took the picture on. You don't think so? No. Oh. So anyways, tomorrow... We are painting a Christmas barn for our Patreon bonus video. So that'll be tomorrow at 2 p.m. on Crowdcast. And if you want to join us for that, you can still sign up. It's $5 for that and all of the bonus videos that we've ever done, which we do one a month for our patrons. Um, just a special thank you bonus video for supporting our channel. And they also get all the traceables and a uh, high reference, high high. Yeah, high def, high definition reference photo. Sorry. So I want this earlobe to be a little bit darker than the cheek. So just going in here. So real quick, which a bit lighter. which brush were you using there? This is the number two or number one round now. Okay. I switched. And then let's use it. And then darker color right there. Pick up some of that kind of light gray. I'm just gonna Darker under here. this white glow it's kind of all the way around him let's see how I can get that on there and let's use the zinc white and see So I just kind of outlined it lightly with white there, more with kind of a light gray. Just keep it very light.
It's awfully quiet. Sorry, I'm thinking. It's okay. Right? <clears throat> so while you're quiet, I'll tell people that at the uh, Patreon group, there's also a dollar level that gives you access to traceables. Yes. And it's just, again, it's month by month, calendar month at Patreon. So the dollar gives you all the traceables, all traceables back to February 2017. Yes. Five dollar levels traceables in the bonus video that we just talked about. And it's and not reference just, photos. Yeah, reference photos. And again, that's all the bonus videos, yes. not just this one. Right. And then the $10 level is all of that, plus also access to a special Facebook group where Angela does more painting tutorials in there and also takes polls and interacts more uh, in that session. Yep. So there you go. Yep. And then down below this video, there's uh, links to Amazon and the brush guys and the all the list of all the paintings and materials that she's using, social media. Yeah, and it, um, I did want to mention too, if you're a face, if you're a if you are a paint party place, like if you paint and sell, teach classes, I have a level for that too. Because my lessons on YouTube are for nonprofits, so you're welcome to paint them with friends, and you know as long as you're not or community groups or whatever libraries, schools, such. But if you are doing it for profit, I have a you have to license them to do that. It's not that much, but it's just a small fee for doing that. Yeah. So I think some people don't realize that just because it's free on YouTube doesn't mean that it's free to use in any way you want to. So mm -hmm. <laughs> you can get a lot of paint parties using our stuff. All right, so there we go. You can see I'm going in there with the highlights, leaving a little bits of the thing. So if you wanted to use a um, um, finer brush, you could use a rake brush and you'd want to use the thinned out paint with it. Just like a liner brush. They're so These lines are so fine that you can't really get a good thin line without thinning down your paint. So, And you're going to barely touch it on here and let the That is a little too bright right there, so I'm going to get the a little bit darker gray. But the nice thing with this is that if you do get, you know, so if you get like your hair too dark somewhere or too bright or whatever, too bright, not too dark. Um, if you get it too dark or too bright, you can um, always glaze over it and darken it up. So. Um, that's a really easy fix. So if you if you do this and you really like it, but you're like, oh, that looks a little too dark or, or a little too bright. I mean, um, dark doesn't work. It's only if, you're bright, if it's bright. Um, then you can go back over it later and um, and glaze it and thin it out or darken it up a little bit. I love little boys' hair. They're so so messed messed up. Never knows what it wants to do. My poor Nathan, or Nathan, son Nathan. He had a calic right. He had double calics on the top of his head that went in opposite directions, so it pushed the middle part of his hair straight up. He had an alfalfa. And it didn't matter how short or long or whatever. You put as much gel as you want to on it. That thing was sticking up. So he just wears his hair long now. <laughs> kind of lets it flop over. <laughs> if you get it long enough it on the top, it'll... Yeah, I can control it a little bit. I think he's figured it out as an adult. But, uh, but man, as a kid, that thing is like my nemesis. Mm. Okay, and then right in the middle there where it's kind of 
in the shadow area. I'm going to get that darker gray and there's just some kind of going down, but what I'm going to end up doing is glazing that area probably. And I didn't get that very good there. Bright white. I'm gonna do. This is back to the quarter inch deer foot stippler. No, oh, not deer foot, um, Willow's Blender. There we go. Oh man, I'm not gonna do it, am I? I'm so close. I heard that kiss. Hmm. What? We picked up that on the on the microphone. Yeah. I think we're at one hour down it. It's okay. I know. I don't think anybody's disappointed. Okay. I, I am. I, I know I I'm not. It. If you didn't care what it looked like, you could have done it. True. But that's not you, so. Okay. Thank you, honey. Well, it's true. There are people who would get out there and just slam it out there and be done. And slam it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to go and just edit out that part right there. Slam it? Yep. <laughs> Use it as a audio file. Just the way you said it. <laughs> <laughs> it's never really heard painting call. What is it? Is, that isn't that how they do poetry? Isn't that? Yeah. Slam poetry or something like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Slam painting? <laughs> in the mosh pit here? In... Mm hmm. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so weird. It's my kind of weird. Yeah. We have been to concerts where you've been kicked in the head, so. I have been. And you too. You've been punched in the head. I, I've been punched, yeah. <laughs> we've had, yeah, we've had some adventures. Both times probably by drunk people. I'm sure and there was one some. one of us were drunk at the time. Adult so. beverages involved in their revelry. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you were as a drunk lady at the Muse concert. <laughs> she was like all jumping up on your back too. I, was, I kept looking back at her like, back off, lady. <laughs> I kept moving. She just like had more room to flail limbs around. I just <laughs> jump closer to you. I'm like, back off. <laughs> she wasn't getting it. She was just having a good time. All right, so just adding, making sure that this calic area is nice and dark where it originates. There we go. 
And then I need to add that some darker hair in here. Here, show everybody what you're painting tomorrow. Okay. It's on it's on there, just click the bonus video thing. Ooh. Bonus. No. Nope. <laughs> you probably got side cam is overriding it. Ooh. Unside cam. Hey, you're pretty smart. I've done this a time or two. Yeah, that's where we're painting tomorrow. So yeah. It'll be good. That's why I was trying to pick an easy one for today so that we didn't have too much time on the arm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to paint this in black. Dark, dark, dark down here. same darkness as the middle stand middle part so kind of medium sized line our group. Why? Because one of our, our friends, Dave, has just joined us and everybody's like, oh, you miss the splatters. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> They're watching out for each other. I love it. It's great. All right, I think, I'm not sure if this may be snow or if this is the ins this is probably inside of the windowsill here, but, and I betcha that, I betcha this part uh, is in front, well, yeah, this part's in front, okay, so, keep this part pretty thin here. And stop where that is right there. Okay, and I'm going to get some of that. So what are you painting in your uh, your Facebook group? Do We're I have that on here? Street lamp. Yes, it's challenge image. Challenge image. There it is. Yep. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we started on it this week. Uh, I just realized I hadn't really ever done like a close-up, realistic pine tree before. So we we started on it, and it's kind of fun. We got, uh, where is it? We worked on that. So, you can see, paint the Christmas tree part of it, and then the street lamp's gonna go over here. So, get mm -hmm. that background kind of 
Mm -hmm. Nondescript, but yeah, but yeah, pretty cool. So fun. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All righty. So there's our window, little boy, the window, and then if you want to add the. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more snow. I feel like it could use just a little bit more now that we've got. That's actually pretty good. It's putting in kind of random, not just circles. Like brighter ones. some over the top of our snowman or Santa too. Oh, I guess we need a jacket, don't we? Hmm. Why is he wearing a jacket indoors? I don't know. Probably just came from outside, maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's his little sleep jacket. Maybe he was expecting to take a ride in the sleigh. I don't know. Hmm. Oh yeah, he had like a ghost body. You could see through it. <laughs> That's freaky. <laughs> so, <clears throat> for a beginner, mm -hmm. would you recommend this? We yes, okay. I think so. I don't think it's hard. Uh, I think the hardest part is probably the hair. Um, but I think if you kind of do the dark first and just kind of follow that line of the thing, I think that, well, the the reindeer is going to be kind of tricky too. So mm. that's just, okay, so I'm just kind of, I'm not going to define this really. I'm just going to kind of try to, make it look like maybe folds of something. I've got that paint, the black paint's wet, so it's gonna kind of blend with this a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of put these highlights in on top of it and folds in his little hoodie that he's got on. See that? Okay. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to. Do a whole lot of detail on him. Pretty good. I could probably. Could probably do a. Very light. I think I'm going to use glazing liquid here. See if I can get some of this zinc white and the glazing liquid and try to get it small line and just kind of line yeah I'm not sure if I like that try to line the inside of that a little bit I feel like I'm losing my outline though You won't just don't lose your mind. Thanks. I think he's got an ear kind of over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that a little bit darker. I hope he's got an ear. Uh, I'm pretty sure he does, but I think it's showing right there a little okay. bit. It's not Van Gogh or anything, right? Right, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah, I really kind of messed that up. It's like all over the place now. I can't even tell where it's supposed to be. So don't try to outline it with the big brush. Check. Got it. Pro tips. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use the bright white. And do another layer of really bright white right here. Really make that top of the head shine. And a little bit on the top of the jacket there. ear make sure that you've got kind of that glow around the face and the ear and the neck on both sides I didn't do it on this side of the neck somebody wants to know are you going to glaze the hair any to add a color or a texture um, no I wasn't planning on it but you could yeah you totally could glaze it um, so what you would do if you were glazing is just grab your, grab a brush, really doesn't matter which one, and grab some of your black, and you're glazing the liquid, and then depending on how much glazing liquid to black you use, um, that's how dark you'd be, you know, covering up. So, like I say, if I wanted this area darker, could use my glazing liquid. And that's where I said, like, if you get an area that's too bright with your first layer here, you can always go back over it with this and darken it up. So Now, could you add some color to it, mm-hmm. you know, to give, like, a blonde yeah, totally or anything could. like that? Okay. Yep, you totally could. <coughs> Like totally? Totally. To the max? Totally, dude. For real. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do, I'm going to transfer on my Santa. Just so I don't have to draw Your, your red brush has been in your water for a while. Which red brush? Oh, red brush okay. You just get them all out of there. Get them all out of the pool. Come on out of the pool now. Time to get out. But mom. You've been swimming long enough. You don't want to leave your brushes in the water too long because what will happen is they'll, the wood inside the handle will swell and then they'll crack. And the paint will crack off, and you'll end up with cracked brushes, which a lot of mine are cracked because I do that all the time. I'm better about it than I used to be because I have you guys to remind me. Yep. <laughs> and then we get questions. People is like, "What is what is on the handle of her paintbrush?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. What secret technique is that? <laughs> no, she's just trying to hold it together. It's tape. <laughs> <laughs> it's <was> just tape. Because <laughs> it's split. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm going to move it over just a little bit so it's not too close to that. That looks good. And then you need to use some transfer paper. So I could have probably used white. I wasn't sure how white this moon was going to be. So I'm going to use black. But use whatever color that's closest that'll be con- more most contrasted. Uh, and closest to the color that you're wanting to end up with. I use a stylus, but you can use uh, like a 
old ballpoint pen or pencil to go over your design. And I he's pretty straightforward, just this sleigh shape, right? The little Santa sitting inside, this part curving up, and then the bottom rail. The, these little reindeer, what I did not want to have to draw, so they're tiny. Little triangle for the head. They're very stylized too, so that kind of helps. A uh, little rounded rump and rounded thigh, and then leg, belly, front legs, neck, and a little triangle head and antlers. Some of them are kind of running, so some of them have their antler, their legs going back. This one's kind of leaping. He's all stretched out. This guy. They're not a very good chorus line. No, they're, they're not, not in step. They're not in step. They should have practiced that in rehearsal. And I'm probably not doing a good job of keeping in my lines either. <laughs> I'm doing these fast. We'll see. Oh, I can hardly see him. Oh, dang it. Okay, I'm going to have to do it darker. I'll press a little bit harder. So over on your YouTube channel, there's all the Christmas videos from yeah, last year. Yeah, I have a year. playlist of Christmas videos. That's like one of the first things on my channel. I have one for winter and one for Christmas. So, you... sorry, go ahead. No, no, I was just kind of leading you into that. You can mm. click on my photograph or my name, and it'll take you to my channel homepage, and then it'll have all the... That's a little bit better. I can see it a little bit better. All right. There we go. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> Very cute. So this is just Sorrel transfer paper. It looks like this. It comes with the different multicolors. It's in my Amazon store. So if you, um, and it's wax free. So uh, it, it erases with water. It's really nice stuff. And like I said, now you can use your pen if you wanted to. Um, if you did use your pen, then you could fog up your window, um, do it at the beginning. But I'm going to grab my small brushes here. I'm going to start with, I'm going to grab my black and my white of the fluid acrylics. So that'll just make it a little bit easier to use these liner brushes. You always want to add a lot of water when you're using a liner brush. That's, I think, the thing that trips people up a lot because I get a lot of comments saying that I can't use the liner brush. Well, they are, you know, granted, they are more, you know, difficult in some ways because they, you know, you're trying to keep the line really, really fine. But I think a lot of people, the main problem that they have with it is that they're not adding enough water and their paint's too thick. And so the paint won't come off the brush and you have to press harder and harder to get the paint, you know, instead of thinning the paint out there, they're doing like this and trying to get that paint off of the brush. And um, so they end up with a really thick line. Whereas if you just... Um, so I'm going to do a dark gray it's just kind of silhouetted just dark enough to see yeah that's good um, if you do enough water in it you won't have to do that you, you it'll come right off your brush really easily and you can hold it just like a pencil almost and draw your paint on Let me go a 
a little bit lighter. It's going to be dark enough to be able to see against that sky, so. At first I didn't see the Santa in the sky, so it's kind of, mm -hmm. you know, you kind of have to, like, do it just dark enough to be able to be like, oh, there's Santa there, but, you know, it's not, like, super obvious right off the bat. It's not like the main focal point. Right. There's a little hat. There's this arm pointing at the moon. And then this arm is holding the reins. Did you use a fluid white in the hair? I didn't, but I could have. Yeah, that would have been smart. Good suggestion. Okay, I'm going to switch over now to the smaller brush. And my moon, my moon looks a little smushed, so I'm gonna make him a little bit bigger on this side. I can see that I made this side bigger, but I didn't really round it out on the other side properly. Or maybe it's just because it's at an angle. That may be it. It looked like mm -hmm. a weird shape, but I think I'm just gonna. Bring this out just a little bit up here. So put my paint on thick, right? Then I'm taking my wet brush. I wiped all my paint off. I'm just smushing out that edge. Just blending that edge in just a clean damp brush there we go smushing really easy way to blend so I'm gonna do it around the outside here a little bit too same deal So if somebody wants to know if they want to paint this and try to sell it, yes. what do they need to do as far as credit and all um, that? It's just good to let your buyer know where you've you know gotten the idea from. Also helps people know about our channel. So if you will put it in your advertising just or on the back of the painting. But in, if you post it on social media, it's always good to I see so many people posting their paintings but not a, not a lot of them do uh, well some I should say a lot of them do credit the artist you know the original but um, I do see a lot that don't so that's always kind of frustrating um, so yeah just if you'll uh, you know put something like original or inspired by Angela Anderson tutorial or something like that on your social media posts and on the back of the painting. That way your buyer knows where the original came from. That's the main thing. And just don't sell it on like a mass media, you know, like Etsy. Don't start an Etsy store with all, you know, my tutorials on there. Well, 
or don't and don't do prints. So those are the only main main things. Okay, there we go. Just went a little bit brighter with my moon, and then what time is it? Oh dang it! I'm way late. I was so off. It's still not bad. An hour and a half. No, not at all. Like again, it's not a race. I know, but we I'm do this. Kind of thinking I could get it We done do this for fun. I know we do. There's way too much stress in life to make this stressful. Also, no. the alien is gone. Is it? Yeah, you wiped it out. Good. <laughs> I guess you could add a spaceship or something to this too. What? You could add a spaceship or something, you know. I could have, yeah. To this. Roswell Christmas. Ooh, parts, other parts of the world know about Roswell. Or if it's famous or if it's just the U.S. They probably have their own Area 51 and stuff, too. Yeah. front just a little bit darker so that it shows up against the other one since they overlapped a little bit So, which one is Dasher, exactly? Does, does Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. So, does everybody... Rudolph's have, not in there. Does everybody have a favorite Get reindeer? Home. It's a clear night. They didn't need him. They didn't need him? No. Okay. They might go back and get him when they go, you know, over the snowier areas, but... What are you saying? I was just wondering if everybody had a favorite... And if they're named the same in other countries, too. <laughs> yeah. Got all kinds of good philo philosophical questions tonight, hon. Yeah, Mona, needs to, Mona need, needs to list the Swedish names for, them, for us. Just put up Mona's snowman that she sent me a couple of years ago. And just uh, put him up. He's right up front. Super cute. Mm, these are looking a little scary, some of them, but. <laughs> <laughs> Nightmare reindeer. <laughs> the reindeer of the apocalypse. Yeah. This guy's, this jumping one is a little weird looking.
him quite right. Oh well. Okay, I'm not going to try to pronounce these names that Mona listed. Oh really? She listed them? Because oh, I think awesome. she's. I think they made up some letters. <laughs> I got Tasa, Volko, Danza, Svanza, Nadi, At- Atcha, Nala, and whew, um, Tajarna. But it's mm-hmm, maybe then. That's cool. So that was pretty close. Spot on, I'm sure. Your pronunciation of them? Yeah. And and believe it or not, everybody, I've I've never spoken Swedish in my life. <laughs> well, you should. You're like a quarter Swede. Yeah. It's about time. I've had some meatballs. Mm-hmm. They look like a little bit like dogs. This <laughs> one looks like a dog. So this kind of goes back to the rabbit painting. Yeah. Stop at whatever stage you're dear you want them to look like. There we go. Better. I'm going to try this guy's front feet again. I wish I had my jingle bells. It would be very festive. Hmm? I wish I had my jingle bells. Uh, I saw them when I was unpacking the studio. What did I do with it? That's okay. Not a big deal. Might be in that thing up there. That's okay. Okay. We'll be better prepared next time. Okay. Oh, now I can't see this at all. All right. so I can see what I'm doing. So we're going to be hanging ornaments on the tree tonight? We are. Nice. Take us about six hours. Got about a million ornaments. Whew. Okay, I think mm. we did it. <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna use a little bit of this dark gray, a little bit of glazing liquid, and just put in. Well, not that much. Just darken up my 
my shadows around the moon there. And this is where I'm saying, like, if you um, if you do the do it with a pen, then you can use your brush and just uh, fluff over it with the white to uh, when you do your window, and it'll kind of fog it out a little bit. Um, and then I want to do some of my snows over the top of these. A little bit. So okay. There we go. Cute. Let me sign it and I'm gonna go ahead and sign it with this small pen since I've ever small brush since I have it out. Ooh, super chat. Super chat. Nice. Man, and you know, the colors are very colorful on this whole black and white whole theme thing. <laughs> <laughs> So, we had two super chatters today. Oh. The first one was J.A., I think it's Julie something. Anyways, I said, thank you for your beautiful work and many laughs. Yep, Julie. Oh, so, thank, thank you, you Julie. Julie. And then the second one was from Krista. And she says, thank you for the tutorial. And please don't ever worry about how long it takes. We love the detail you teach us. Oh, good. So thank, thank you, Krista Julie. and That's Julie. Awesome. Yes, Krista and Julie. Y'all are sweet. Thank you so much. And I got to use the disco light, so I'm that's what's the most important. I know. I'm going to use this small brush and just going to add just a few little very small hairs with a kind of a gray color. light gray and we kind of tap off the front end of them if like where they start if they're kind of too obvious you or you can glaze over it later if you need to but just a few little All the little details that then kick it up a notch. Yeah. You're the emerald of acrylic painting. <laughs> I feel like I'm more the Julie Childs of acrylic painting. I'm <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> a little bit messy <clears throat> and weird. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to call that good. Hope you guys try it. It's a lot of fun. I don't think it, I don't. Definitely that part was hard. Uh, if you used a pen, it wouldn't be that hard at all. And definitely transfer it on there uh, so you don't have to worry about drawing it. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think it's definitely doable. We didn't do a whole lot of detail with the window, so it's just pretty much just straight lines. And if you used a ruler, um, it'd be that much e easier. So um, I think mine was a little bit trickier just because I didn't do that. But um, looking at this over here, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger over here. So just remind everybody, tomorrow's our bonus video. It's in the upper right-hand corner right now for all the Patreon supporters at $5 and above. Right. This picture was on Pixabay, so um, it was free on Pixabay to use. So if you want to find it there, I think if you just... Search for boy window Christmas. It'll probably pop up. Um, but then you can tra trace it onto your canvas from that original photograph if you don't want to, if you're not a Patreon member. So. And also hop over to thankfulart.com and sign up for the newsletter. Yes. Um, 
do it on a computer. If you do it on a computer, um, you'll see a pop-up that comes up. It'll show a Mandarin Duck picture. Ooh. And if you sign up there on the Mandarin Duck sign up thing, it'll send you the free uh, link to that video. And that's a, one of our $5 Patreon bonus videos that we did a few years ago. So a couple of years ago, I think maybe yeah. last year, I can't remember. Um, anyhow, so um, that, and, and we send out uh, a newsletter once a week and just kind of shows what we've been, what we're going to be working on and that kind of thing. So it's pretty, pretty low key and uh, keeps you informed. And also we've got a new sponsor, um, Blick. So if you like Blick.com and want to uh, check out support our channel buy some art stuff from them if you like their stuff and want to support our channel easy you can uh, go to the website and then go down to the facts FAQ section uh, frequently asked question and um, there's a section there that uh, says where can I buy art materials and the link to the book is in there so as well as my Amazon shop and also the the brush guys. So those are the three places where if you buy the art materials, you can help support our channel. Yeah, and then we'll be back Tuesday night with another free video right here. Yes, we will. Uh, Easy. No, it will be Monday night, not Tuesday. Is tomorrow is Tuesday, Tuesday night, Tuesday the night? 10th. Okay. Oh, that's right. For the okay. street lamp. Right. Yes. Yes. And then the following is going to be a Monday instead of a Tuesday. Oh, so, okay. Yes. Nice. I'm going to see Fantagram oh. <laughs> on Tuesday night. Of course, it would be on a Tuesday night. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't pass them up. I was like, I don't, I'm going to have to do it on Monday because <laughs> I, I missed them the last time they came to Arkansas. So I'm going to go see them. It was Margaret for her birthday. So. Well, that was fun. It was. I yeah. definitely don't think it was difficult. I mean, an hour and a half ish. Yeah. And uh yeah. We'll uh Thanks to all the unusual suspects for joining us again yes, today. Thank you guys. All our worldwide. Back friends. to work. Back to house <laughs> Yeah, sorry. sorry. <laughs> you gotta go clean the house now. Yeah. Hopefully <laughs> you'll be back tomorrow night with or tomorrow afternoon to watch the Christmas barn with us. So all right guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.